Okay, the uh, title of this lesson is Latent Heat and Phase Change. Now I'm going to uh, draw a graph um, looking at the phase changes of water. So, on the y-axis, I will have the temperature in degrees C, and on the x-axis, I will have the time let's say in seconds and we'll start off with water in its solid form which is of course ice we'll start off at minus 10 a bit better oh dear just rub that out minus 10 that's better start off at minus 10 and we're going to go up to positive 100 there and then possibly beyond. So I'm going to get another colour and I'll draw the chart. Okay. Blue should do it. So we're going to start off, we're going to apply energy at a constant rate to the solid. So we're going to start here at minus 10 and we're going to apply energy at a constant rate and the temperature will increase to there. Now once we once the uh, ice gets to 0 degrees C here, that is 0 there, you'll find that as you apply more energy, the, the temperature doesn't increase. It stays the same for a bit. Okay. Then what's happened is there's going to be a phase change, and it's going to change into water. And I'm just going to draw this little line across here to there and extend to there. So then the temperature is going to increase until we get to 100 degrees C and then what's going to happen is it's going to temperature is going to remain constant 100 for a bit um, before increasing again like that. So what is happening? So what we've got here, we, this is the region of this is ice. So this is a solid form. Ice there. We have water here. And at the very top is the gas form. And the gas form of water is called steam. Right, so it goes ice, water, then steam. Now these two um, bits here are where the temperature is not increasing. This is um, where the, the phase is changing. And this is where you get um, you need energy. The energy is applied by heating the ice, and that's known as the latent heat. Latent heat being hidden heat. So you're heating this, this ice up, the temperature is increasing, gets to naught, and then as it starts to melt, the temperature no longer increases. It's known as latent heat. Now what's happening is there's a phase change. And in the phase change, um, the, the energy from the heat is being used to increase the potential energy of the molecules. And by increasing the potential energy, it allows um, the, the uh, molecules, which are very much um, stuck to its nearest neighbors, to, to be allowed to move past other molecules. Okay, so the potential is increasing, so therefore it allows them to move past other molecules um, and it allows it to fall, form a liquid. Now, once it's all um, melted here, it then water, and then we see um, a, the gradient here. Notice the specific heat capacity here of water um, is greater than that of ice because um, it is a shallower slope, so it takes it's taking longer to heat up um, the temperature rise per second. But eventually we get to here, and we get more latent heat here because we're now converting liquid into gas, and the gas is um, a steam. Okay, and this is also latent heat. And again, this time, the energy is being used to, um, again, increase the potential energy of it. In fact, increases the potential energy so much and the potential energy um, of the molecules um, becomes effectively zero. Okay, and when there's zero potential energy, um, there's no uh, intermolecular forces between the molecules and they can move off um, as, as they so wish. And eventually, when it's 
all it's turned to uh, it's all turned to steam then the temperature will will increase again so that's known as latent heat so here when we're turning from ice into water that's known as latent heat of fusion and when we're turning from um, water and steam that's known as latent heat of vaporization okay now the latent heat of fusion for um, water is equal to 340,000 joules per kilogram or 340 joules per gram and the latent heat of vaporization um, going from water into steam is a huge value it is in fact 2 million 300,000 joules per kilogram or um, 2,000 300 joules per gram. Now there's an equation that links it. So this is Q, which is the energy transferred, is equal to the mass times the latent heat. And that equation um, tells you how much energy is required to uh, turn um, a certain mass of ice to a certain amount of water at 0 degrees C for one value of L or for a different value of L it's the, which is for vaporization it's the energy required to turn a certain um, mass of water into um, steam at the same temperature and that is the, uh, the equation we use so where L can be LF is, is latent heat of fusion LV is used um, when when you when you're vaporizing.